everyone this is John from civil center welcome to our channel as we know civil center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering students and professionals and for that we keep making videos on different topics related to civil engineering so what we are going to learn today today we will learn about design of staircase now we go for, through four designing steps and what are they first we will assume the size then we will go for the load calculation then moment calculation and then we will go for the reinforcement detail now that we have understood the four designing steps let's go step by step in the design procedure so first of all we will have to understand the plan over here so this is the plan and in this we will consider the staircase so our staircase is 7 feet 5 inches by 14 feet now this direction is 14 feet long and in this direction our staircase is 7 feet 5 inches long so we will have to convert that in mm in order to design it then we have the treads of 10 inches and the risers of 6 inches our landing is 3 feet 3 inches in this direction as well as in this direction now one thing that we need to understand is that in this staircase we have three goings one is this one then we have this one as a second going and we have this one as a third going so if we will design our staircase for this going then it will be automatically designed for all the goings so if you are making this one safe then definitely you can make this and this going safe now let's continue with the designing procedure so at first what we need so at first we need our lens so this is our length i have converted this mm so over here we had three feet three inches over here we have three feet three inches and in the middle we had seven feet six inches so i have already converted it now we need to show the loading over here so we will start with the loading so at the ends we will have lesser loading in comparison to what we will have in the middle now that i have already explained you the design procedure we will start with the first procedure of assuming the size so first of all we will have to calculate the capital d now capital d is the depth of the riser or the trade slab and it is equal to effective span divided by 25 so first of all we will have to calculate the effective span now what is effective span if you will uh, watch this diagram closely then effective span will be center to center distance from here to here so this will be 990 by 2 over here then 992 by 2 over here and in the middle we will have 2286 so our total length will be 990 plus 2286 because these two halves will be equal to 1 okay so now we will change the data over here and we will go for the calculation of the effective span so over here you can see that our effective span is finally 2286 plus 990 and it is equal to 3276 so now we can easily calculate the depth of riser or trade slab that is capital D so we have to divide 3276 divide by 25 so our value will come 131.04 mm and now this is the maximum depth that we can provide so we will go for the 125 mm because we can take depth anything lesser than this one so we will try to keep it close to 131.04 mm now we can calculate the effective depth and to do so we need to deduct the effective cover from the capital D so our capital D is 125 mm over here and the effective cover will be 15 if you are considering the 10 mm dia part so over here you can see we have a 10 mm dia bar that we have provided and so our effective cover will be the summation of 15 and 10 by 2 okay so our effective depth will be finally 105 mm if you are facing any doubt in this one then you can definitely write your query in the comment section or if you are our regular viewer or our student then you can write your query in the whatsapp group 
then we will go for the loading now how to calculate the load so for that we will start with the self weight first so i will just make trade and riser over here and you can see our trades and risers are ready now we need to calculate the distance so what was the length of the riser and what was the length of the trade so our trade was 10 inches and our riser was 6 inches so at the bottom you can see we have both the riser and trade calculated at the same place so our trade will be 10 inches that is equal to 254 mm and the riser will be 6 inches that is equal to 152 mm and then we will simply divide that by 254 so you can see our self weight is 25 into this distance of 0.254 plus 0.15238 that is 6 inches divided by 0.254 multiplied by 0.125 now this will be equal to 5.03 kN then we need to apply the floor finish and the live load so the summation of all this will give the load on the going so how do you take the load for the live load so for that we will visit the is codes and in the is code you can see for the residential building for the staircase we provide 3 kN per meter square of load okay then now we will apply that over here so our total load will be the summation of these three values that is 5.03 plus 0.5 plus 3 kN per meter square and you can see that our live load over here will be 8.53 on the going portion and after that we will calculate it for the factor load so to do so we will simply multiply it with the factor of safety that is 1.5 and our factor load will be 12.79 kN per meter square now we will go for the calculation of the loads on landing and we to do so we will simply multiply 25 with the length of the landing that is 0.125 so that will come to 3.125 and then there will be floor finish and live load then our total load will be 6.625 and the factored load after the calculation will be 9.93 now, now we will know that 50% of the load is acting over here so we will calculate the 50% of the load on the landing and that will come as 4.96 kN per meter square now to we will go for the third designing step that is the moment calculation so first of all we will just rectify the loading over here so at the ends you can see we have a load of 4.96 and in the middle we will have the load of 12.79 kN per meter square okay so the 4.96 load will act on both the ends now we need to calculate the reactions so this is the portion of RA and this is the portion of RB so on the RA this much load will act and the RA will be equal to RB okay so RA equal to RB equals to let's calculate the load for that so we will change the value over here and you can see that over here it will be 4.96 into 0.495 into 2 because it is acting at the both the places at that means at both the ends and then we will multiply the load in the middle section and the length of the middle section that is 2.286 and we will divide the whole load by 2 in order to get RA and RB now you know that the bending moment will act in the middle okay so we will have to calculate it for there but this will not act in the middle because it is not a uniform udl so for that we will have to make some calculations over here and for that we will simply calculate it so the bending moment will be <coughs> equal to ra multiplied by the distance on which it is acting and then the loads coming from the upward direction so the RH 
is acting in upward direction and the other two loads that are the other two UDLs are acting in the downward direction. Now for the moment calculation what we do we multiply the force with the distance where it is acting or the if it is UDL then we will apply the load in the middle okay. So if this is your RA then it will act at a distance till here okay. So we will calculate this distance and we will use this RA over here. So we will multiply this RA with this distance because the bending moment is acting in the middle. Now if we will go for the calculation of the bending moment that is created by these two loads then this one will act in the downward direction and it will act in the middle. So we will first multiply the 4.96 that is this load with this length in order to get the load in kilonewton per meter and then we will multiply it with the distance that is where the load is acting that is in the middle of this one. So it will be 4.96 multiplied by this distance multiplied by this distance by 2 and for this UDL it will be 12.79 multiplied by this distance that is 2.286 and then the half of this one. So if we will consider for this one then this will act in the middle of this load and this load will act over here. So you can calculate the bending moment like this. So I am considering the center over here and I am calculating the bending moment from this one. Okay. So RA multiplied by this distance minus 4.96 acting at the middle of this then 12.79 acting on the middle of this distance. Now let's formulate it. So here is our load. Okay. Now we will go for the final calculation. So our maximum bending moment over here is coming by 12.33 kN meter per meter. Okay. And after that you know what to do. That is the reinforcement detailing. So I have already explained the reinforcement detailing in my previous classes on the designing of the uh, slab. So you already know how to calculate the reinforcement over here. So right now over here you can calculate the reinforcement using this formula. So the formula for the reinforcement is AST will be equal to 0.5 BD FCK divided by FY whole multiplied by 1 minus root under 1 minus 4.6 mu divided by fck bd squared so if you want to just learn about this one then you can watch my videos which i have uh, find those videos on our youtube channel and also if you are our student then in the playlist over there if you are new to our channel then then you can simply subscribe our channel for more videos content like this one and if you have liked this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel. And in order to get enrolled in our course, you can simply fill the Google form. You can find the link in the description. You have to fill this Google form and I will personally give you a call and I will explain you how you can join our live online classes. So guys, that was all for today. See you in the next video. Thank you.